What's up guys, my name is Ethan and in today's video we're going to be talking about my newest credit card, the Chase Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card. I'll cover all of its major features and benefits and why I think it's a hotel keeper card you should consider. But I'll also talk about some of its downsides, especially since there are so many other Marriott cards and hotel cards you might want to consider instead. So be sure to stick around to the end if you want to hear about that. If you're new here, welcome and let's get started. So first up, this card has a $95 annual fee, but it also has a welcome bonus worth up to $125 thousand Marriott Bonvoy points. That bonus is broken down into two parts. First is that you can earn 75,000 points after spending $3,000 in the first six months from your account opening. And for the second part, you can earn 50,000 points after you stay six eligible paid nights at Marriott properties through the end of January 2024. Marriott points are pretty widely valued at about 0.8 cents per point, meaning that this bonus could be worth around $1,000 in value. But I got to be honest, having to pay for six nights in order to earn the 50,000 points is a little bit annoying. When I signed up for this card recently, I was able to find an offer for five free night certificates worth up to 50,000 points each. And even the most recent offer of three free night certificates worth 50,000 points each was a little bit better than this current bonus. But I can't knock it too much as it is a bonus worth up to $1,000. And that is on the higher end bonus value that $95 annual fee hotel credit cards typically offer. The next feature worth mentioning on this card is that it comes with a free night certificate every anniversary year worth up to 35,000 points. Valuing Marriott points at 0.8 cents per point, that's going to be worth around $280 in value. So right there between the welcome bonus and the free night certificate, this card pretty easily pays for itself, even adding some value on top of that. And for that reason, I'd say this card is pretty easy to justify keeping in the long run, making it a great hotel keeper card. But unfortunately, I think that covers about all the exciting points when it comes to this card for the majority of people. Moving on to the earning categories, the card earns six points per dollar spent at Marriott properties, three points per dollar on combined spend between gas, groceries, and dining, up to $6,000 per year, and 2x on everything else. Now, a 2x earning category sounds pretty good, but when you factor in that these are Marriott points that you're earning, at 0.8 cents per point, it's not really as good as it sounds. Moving on to some of the other perks of the card, you're going to automatically get Marriott Silver status. This is really nothing to get too excited about, unfortunately, because really you're only going to get priority late checkout, which is completely based upon availability, and a 10% points earning bonus plus Marriott's ultimate reservation guarantee, which says that if Marriott can't honor your reservation for any reason, they'll pay for whatever accommodations you need in replacement, but that just seems like something they should do anyway. So unfortunately, I'd say Silver Elite status is really nothing to get excited about. However, there are some benefits with this card that will help you earn status with Marriott much faster. You're going to earn 15 nights towards Elite status every year just by holding this card, and that'll put you much closer to earning Gold status, which requires 25 nights per year. Gold status comes with some perks like enhanced room up upgrades, 2 p.m. late checkout, and you'll earn 25% more points on eligible hotel purchases. If you have this card, you also have the option to earn Marriott Gold by spending $35,000 on the card in a calendar year. And one other benefit to this card is that for every $5,000 you spend on the card, you're going to earn one night towards status. So if you do have high spend, this could be a good card to have to earn Marriott status. Looking at some of the last benefits on the card, you are going to have no foreign transaction fees, which is pretty standard for any card that has an annual fee. And you will get a couple of insurances that come with the card, like baggage delay, purchase protection, lost luggage reimbursement, and trip delay reimbursement. All right, now let's talk about some of the downsides to the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless. I think the biggest downside worth mentioning on this card is that there's quite a bit of opportunity cost. There are quite a few Marriott cards, and each of them have different rules on whether you can get the card or get the bonus, depending on which other Marriott cards you've had in the past. It's a pretty complicated ecosystem of cards, but there are a few charts you can find online that help simplify the breakdown. I think the biggest takeaway on the Bonvoy Boundless card is that you're going to be missing out on any American Express card for the next two years if you get the bonus on this card. So you really have to make sure that this is the Marriott Bonvoy card that you want to hold. However, when it comes to Chase, you do have the option to product change between quite a few cards. But to simplify the whole process, I would say this is one of the better hotel keeper cards. And for me, the Marriott Boundless hits a pretty sweet spot of a low annual fee with a free night certificate and a few other smaller perks that come with the card. But just be aware there's quite a bit of opportunity cost if you do choose to get the Boundless card. The only other downside I think is worth mentioning on this card, and it's not that big of a downside, is that the welcome bonus is constantly changing. Now it's normal for welcome bonuses to fluctuate, but it seems like on the 
the Boundless card, it's way less predictable than most credit card bonuses. For instance, on the Chase Sapphire Preferred, another $95 annual fee card, you can expect that the bonus will range from 60 to 80,000 points, maybe sometimes even 100,000 points. So it's pretty easy to know if you want that 80,000 point welcome bonus, you just have to wait to get it. But with the Marriott Boundless card, you just never know what the next bonus will be. Sometimes it's just straight points for a certain spending requirement. Sometimes it's free night certificates. Sometimes you need paid stays in order to earn the welcome bonus, and it just seems to always be changing. The bonus I got on the card was the five free night certificates worth 50,000 points each, and that was probably the biggest bonus that had ever been on the card. And if I remember correctly, that bonus has shown up just twice on the card's history. So it's really hard to say whether a big bonus like that will pop up in the future. And so the point I'm trying to make is that it's not easy to predict what the next bonus will be. And I would say if you want this card, just grab it when you feel like the bonus is reasonable for you. Even though this current bonus isn't my favorite, I think there's plenty of value to be had. And I wouldn't recommend you wait around for another five free night certificate offer to come up, even though it's totally possible, because you just might be waiting for a really, really long time. So to bring it all together, I really think this is a fantastic card that is worth getting and keeping in the long run. There's nothing overly fantastic about it, but it is a really solid hotel keeper card. And if you want to spend your way to status with Marriott, it can be a great option for you. Just make sure you have a pretty good plan and know that that is the Marriott card you want to have because it can limit your options, especially when it comes to cards with American Express. And because this is a Chase credit card, it is subject to 524. One of the main competitors you could say to this card is the World of Hyatt credit card. And if you'd like to learn more about this card, then I'd recommend you check out my video on the World of Hyatt credit card. And if you want to learn how I use credit cards to travel for free, check out my video called How to Use Credit Cards to Travel for Free. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.